here is a sounding board. This is that doll guy. That depressed doll guy. But this is the third project Mike has asked me to do. It's bad enough that he likes to eat a lot of chicken. And we know what chicken is. He doesn't like breast. He likes cock. After a good hearty meal, he goes hangs out with his friend Robbie. Because they both own Blockbuster shirts. <sighs> yeah, Blockbuster shirts. They used to be good on Blockbuster employees when you used to go in and rent videotapes. And you didn't have to go through this little box and get these DVDs and wait in line just to see if your order is there or not. And then they would go, then Mike and Robbie go and practice their dancing because they hope one day to be a male stripping duo going door to door entertaining people. Are they good at it? I don't know. I wouldn't go see their act. I've seen their YouTube videos. But we're here to talk about Mike's most amazing unreleased film or unamazing film depending on how you look at it called Matt. Named after his best high school buddy. They were like inseparable before Robbie entered the picture. Now Robbie is the new Matt. And they had this idea to make a movie called Matt. Yes, Matt. He was hoping Hello Kitty Fizzy Pop would sponsor the movie. But all he ever got is a trailer. And only part of a trailer. Due to Wasteland technology, we finished Mike's trailer just to surprise him. So then he can see the entire failure of what his film would have been like. Now before there was Robbie in Mike's life, there was Matt. And they were they played they were Star Trek buddies. Yes, Star Trek buddies, I know. Now it's cool. Back then it wasn't. And Mike had a what can we call it? a guy in shirt and everyone thought it was Snoop Dogg. And he loved that shirt. He wishes he could get another guy in a shirt with Snoop Dogg on it. But him and Matt had this dream of becoming big, bright, shiny stars. Mike would film the movies and Matt would star in them. Now, the scary part of films is how much clothes would Matt wear? At this point in Matt's life, he liked clothes as much as he liked a second brain. So he would always slip them off, find reasons to slip them off, and show off his big manly pectoral muscles. A lot of bear, bear chasers loved him, which was surprising. He had a lot of male phone numbers when this clip originally aired. But now we're going to see it in its uh, the way Mike envisioned it. The epic Matt. The acting Matt. So let's take a look at what Mike had planned. Lot, and you haven't got a clue. So 
I'm never gonna catch my breath. Think about it, those who do me. Boys, I pull this school for cutting gym. This guy's no skin at the tip. Whoa, that was a real exciting trailer. Luckily, the rest of the movie was never made. Because Hello Kitty said, no, we don't want something like this. We want quality. And that's when Mike and Matt realized they had no talent. This is the sounding board, signing off.